All right, hi, it's Mrs. Miller from NESPE. Hope you're having a great day. And today we're gonna be playing seven up ball game. It's a wall ball game and we're gonna play version one with a bouncy ball and a wall. I hope you enjoy. In this game, seven up, there are seven tasks and you can, what's great about this game is you can create your own tasks, you can play on your own, you can challenge a family member or friend, but I'm gonna be playing on my own and then I'll show you some challenges to do at the end on how to play with someone else. So if there, for example, there are seven tasks. Seven Z's you do seven times, throwing and catching. Six Z's, six times. Five Z's, five times. Four Z's, four times. Three Z's, three times. Two Z's, twice. And one Z's, one time. And you are trying to get through each task without a miss. So I'm gonna get started. And again, this is the version number one, and that's using a, a whoopsie. You're using a bouncy ball and a wall. And I'm gonna be using this filing cabinet in the library. You don't need to be in a gym to do this. You can do it indoors or outdoors. Just find a safe wall without any windows and give it a try on your own again or with a friend. And here's seventies. For seventies, you're gonna bounce the ball against the wall. You can make it more challenging by throwing overhand, that athletic gal step, throw, twist, squish that bug, or underhand, tick, step, and talk. So for this small space, I'm gonna be using underhand. So I catch seven times, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now on to sixties because I made all seven catches in a row. For sixties, I'm going to bounce the ball against the wall, allow it to bounce once, and then catch it. So it looks like this. I'm still throwing underhand because I don't want it to go far. If I want to make it more challenging, I would throw overhand. This is three. I need to do it six times. Four, five. And six, that's six Z's. Now we're up to five Z's. In five Z's, I'm going to bounce the ball on the ground and dribble it five times in a row and then catch it. So it looks like this. Bounce. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, I missed it. No worries. I stay on five Z's until I get it. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. Yes. Now I go on to four Z's. For four Z's, I'm going to bounce the ball against the wall up on the ground. And then... Oh, I'm going to bounce the ball on the ground, let it hit the wall, and then catch it. This is going to be a little bit more challenging. I think I'm going to throw overhand this time. So sideways to my target, step, bounce, one, two, sideways, step, throw, twist, swish that bug. Make that letter L. Three, and last one, four. And I made those four catches, so now I moved on to three Z's. For three Z's, bounce the ball. Oh, against the wall. Oh no, bounce the ball on the ground. Okay, let's see. Hit it down to the ground before catching it. Oh, so I'm gonna bounce the ball, let it bounce, dribble it once and catch. So let's try that again. Throw the ball, let it bounce, dribble, catch, two. And again, overhand more challenging, underhand less challenging. Take step and top, let it bounce, dribble, once, catch, and that's three C's. Two Z's. Bounce the ball under your leg to the wall. So throw the ball under your leg. Catch. In the air. Uh oh, I missed it. No worries. I tried two Z's again. Whoopsie. Let me find that ball. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Here I am. Woo! -hoo. Here's two Z's. Throw it under my leg. One. And two. Now I move on to one Z's and one Z's. I am going to throw the ball against the wall. Spin it round to a 360 and catch it before it bounces. Mmm, that's gonna be a challenge. Haven't practiced this one, so it might take me a few times. Let's see, that spinning one is always tough for me. I had to take off those glasses. Woo! Here we go. Take a step and off. Oh gosh, <laughs> it hit me in the back. Woo! Might have to throw that a little higher. Let's see. Whoa! I did a one 360 when I caught it, but I think I caught it on the 180. I'm gonna see if I can get all the way around. Okay. Whoa! Gotta throw it a little bit higher, I guess. Ah! Let's see. If I get closer, I just hit it a little bit. I think it goes straight up. Well, well, wow, that's something I'm gonna try to work on. So for one season, you're gonna do that 360 spin and catch it again. 
and that's how you play seven up the ball game. Now, if you're playing it against a friend, pretend I'm playing it against you. And Mrs. Miller goes first, and I start out with seven Ds. Bounce that ball against the wall seven times and catch it on seven. So I'm just throwing it and catching it. Uh-oh, I'm on seven Ds. We're going to take turns, but I miss. It's your up. You're on seven Ds. You do all seven tasks, and you catch them seven times without a miss. You go to six Ds, you catch them without a miss. You go through all five Cs, you catch them without a miss. You go through all four Cs, you catch them without a miss. You go through all three Cs, you catch them without a miss. You go to two Cs, you have a miss. So now if you're playing against friend, you're playing against Mrs. Miller, it's my turn. And I start back at seven Ds. So I'm throwing at seven Ds. I make it through seven Ds. I go to six Ds. I make it through six Ds. I'm catching up to you. I go to five Zs, I'm catching up to you now. I go to four Zs and I miss. I give it back to you on two Zs. You're on two Zs, it's your turn because I had a miss and you miss on two Zs. I get it back, I get to five Zs and I make it. I go to four Zs and I miss. You go, I give it back to you and you go to two Zs. You make it on two Zs, you make it on that one spinning 360 that Mrs. Miller's gonna challenge herself to get stronger at and you make it so you win that game. So I hope you have a lot of fun on your own with seven up the ball game, with the ball wall ver version, with the bouncy ball on your own, playing it against a friend or and or creating your own bounces and catches. So have fun and keep active.